Okay, I'm going to do this real quick because I, this dog, I don't think I ever worked with it on this before, but she does have a deliver to hand. And if you want them to pick up the leash, I think it's, I really do think it's best for them to pick it up by the end. And so if you said, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you. And this is just how I do it, but I've got this particular leash. And I've got a knot tied in the end. So that's going to make it. I don't have it on the dog initially. But that's going to look. So that's going to be the obvious thing. So that that's going to help him get the end as opposed to grabbing it in the middle. Okay, so I still don't have it on the dog. This dog will peel off the leash. So you're initially doing it without it being on the dog. Okay, so I can now try putting it on there. This might be taking a little more time. I'm kind of speeding it up for the video, but then you're doing it. She's all about the shake off here when you put the leash on. <laughs> Listen, Blake, you got to hold still just a second, Blake. Okay, so it's just the same thing. Told you, all about the shake off. It's the same thing. Uh-oh. So let me get the treat ready. Anyway, that's how I do it. Rather than worrying about getting it too tangled in the beginning. Uh -oh. She's absolutely perfect. They will figure out how to get it untangled, but that can be a problem in the beginning. That's how I do it. Just start out with it not on the dog. And then just marry it up with the with it hooked on something else. Anyway, hi Miguel. Anyway, that's how I do it. So anyway, see ya.